on our radar is BLS International. Now, this is a company which provides visa services and therefore has been a big beneficiary of the pickup in travel and tourism across the globe. Uh, so the company's revenue growth has been very strong. FY23, the company clocked in a growth of close to about 78.5%. But very recently, one of the promoters, Divakar Agarwal, sold about 2.7% of his stake in the company. This happened last week. Um, so to talk more about that and the recent order win, we're now joined by the company's joint MD, Shikhar Agarwal, on the show now. Uh, Shikhar, morning and thank you very much for joining in. First, the question on the promoter stake sale. Um, you know, what was the reason for the stake sale? Do you have more? Uh, does the promoter intend to bring their stake down even further? Yeah. So basically, uh, what happened was certain marquee investors, you know, institutions were very keen to be part of the growth story of the company. So they were seriously looking at block transactions. So that is why we provided them an opportunity. This, in my opinion, reflects the trust and co positive thought process about the company's future growth prospects. So a couple of uh, marquee investors. As of now, company has uh, the promoters have no intention of uh, selling for this uh statement. So what's the promoter holding now and who were the marquee investors who came on board? See, uh, promoter holding now has uh, reduced by around 2%, so it should be in the range of 71 to 72%. Uh, I need mm -hmm. to check the exact number. Uh, due to confidentiality, uh, since uh, we cannot name uh, the investors, but there were certainly marquee investors who have invested in the company. But the promoter holding is still very high, right, at 71-72%. So if your intent is to bring more investors on board, uh, then, you know, over the medium term, would the promoter be open to bringing their stake down further? Is there any kind of a minimum shareholding that you want to make sure that the promoters have? No, as of now, there is no intention of bringing down any shareholding. Okay. As I said, uh, certain marquee investors really wanted to be part of the growth story of the company. So that is why I provided them a block opportunity. Sure. Okay, got that. Shikhar, thanks for joining us. Have you been approached by any investors right now that, you know, want to pick up a significantly big stake in the company? Has there been anything of that sort so far? See, as a part of a regular investor engagement, we continuously meet on uh, different fund and investors. And definitely, you know, seeing the growth prospects of the company, all the funds are actively looking at investment uh, in the company. There has been a, a good increase in FIS holding of the company. So definitely, you know, as a part of investor engagement, uh, we meet funds and uh, investors every quarter and on a regular ongoing basis. But there is no intention of selling any stake as of now. Okay, got that. Uh, just one question, you know, we have been discussing this entire TCS, which was initially, uh, you know, applied. Initially, we thought it's going to be on all overseas spends. It was then clarified. Uh, have you seen any kind of slowdown on account of that? I know it's just about a week old, this news, but any kind of impact that you've seen of that? See, for us, uh, around 10% of our revenue comes from India, 90% comes from global uh, tourists, okay. you know. So for us, there is no major impact. We have not seen any impact and we do not foresee any impact because of this policy on our revenue. Okay. Can we uh, talk then about the recent order win? Uh, Spain, uh, you were providing consular services, um, you know, to the Spanish government. Uh, and now that contract has been extended. Um, can you give us some contours of this, uh, the contract now? For how many years will you be providing uh, co visa consular services to Spain? And what will the volumes look like? Because now you will also be providing for some national travel. Correct. So see, for Spanish government, we have been providing visa services in the year 2016, uh, you know, with presence in more than 40 countries and operating more than 122 application centers. So there was, uh, as the contract had expired, there was a retender in which we were successful at winning the contract at a higher service charge than before. So now the contract is also uh, again for another five year duration. Annually, we, we were processing uh, around 2 million applications annually. Now, additional category of national visa has been added to this outsourcing. That uh, we do not know the exact numbers, but we foresee 15 to 20% increase in application volume because of this new category. So, and in this contract, there is also a host variety of 
value added services that we have been offering like premium lounges mobile biometric sms couriers that have been outsourced in addition to new services like translations and tourist services so we expect the revenue for the company to definitely increase because of this again win from the spanish government which also reiterates their our commitment to the government and their commitment uh, to you know the services that we have provided over the last 6 years which i feel that they are happy with okay but uh, shikhar how much do you expect it to increase by what is the revenue that you could see on account of this uh, project alone on account of this uh, new g- contract by the spanish government and also you know in order to expand like you said are you going to have to you know create new offices in spain what is the kind of investment that you are looking at here correct so see already the the, the revenue that comes from this uh, contract for us is part of our revenue so we will definitely expect a certain increase on that in terms of the a new category that has been awarded we will definitely be opening offices in newer regions of latin america and and we are uh, you know changing our offices expanding them in in line with the new volumes uh, you know that are expected so definitely there will be a increase in volume and uh, revenue for the company because of this uh, new contract broadly what's the revenue contribution from uh, the services that you provide in spain right now so we work for the spanish government in 40 countries i think around i have 30 to 35% would be the revenue contribution of this contract but definitely you know now our target is uh, you know with the with the outsourcing of national category uh, you know as a whole the revenue of the company is increasing because of addition of new contracts like germany poland in manila cebu thailand couple of so i expect the revenue contribution over the next few years uh, from this contract to decline a little bit because the overall revenue of the company is increasing but right now it contributes 20 25% to your top line correct Okay. All right. So it's uh, uh, you know an important uh, geography uh, for you. Thank you very much, uh, Shikhar, for joining in. That's the promoter telling us that he expects volumes from uh, the services that they provide in Spain to go up by fifteen to twenty percent because now there is a new category of national visas which they will be providing and certain value add- added services. They will be opening up <coughs> new offices. The reason for the recent promoter stake was to bring some marquee investors on board. Didn't disclose the name of the marquee investors, but that's the reason the promoters have no intent to further pair down their holding. It currently stands at seventy-one to seventy-two percent. Get into a break on that note. We'll come back with more on the markets. 